I'm Steph Gorin from Loop Fiber Studio, and I am here at Ashford headquarters in beautiful New Zealand. So while I'm here, I'm going to be testing out the country spinner and trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff on it. And I'm going to show you some of my techniques. So I have carded a bat on, this was done on a double wide drum carter. The core that I'm using today is a brushed mohair. One thing I recommend when you're choosing a core is to make sure that it's strong. It should be difficult to break with your hands or impossible. I like to use Tencel, which is really, really strong, or um, linen you can get on cones, that's really strong. But this is also very strong and it's great for core spinning a bat. I'm also gonna use a second core. Uh, so we're gonna kind of experiment a little with using two cores and some variations on core spinning that way. This particular core is, has Lurex in it, so it has sparkle, which we love. This particular one is, is pretty strong, but it's not strong enough to be a core on its own, so I'm going to add it to this other core. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put my two cores on the floor by my feet, and I'm gonna separate them a little bit so that they don't get tangled up. And I'm gonna tie them onto my leader. So I'll get the ends of each of them and my leader and just tie a knot. And I'm gonna just tear off strips. So it'll be almost like roving. So I'm gonna tearing off one strip. And I'm gonna pre-draft it a little bit. Depends how thick your bat is, how much you need to do this, but I just wanna kind of pre-draft a tiny bit here. And I'm just gonna rest it on my leg. And then I'm gonna get started. So one of the things I love about this wheel is that there are three ratios and I'm going to use the slowest ratio to core spin because I don't want too much twist to build up in the core. It's really important when core spinning to stay, to work very close to the orifice and to try and feed it onto the bobbin as quickly as possible so that you don't build up a lot of twist in your core. Um, Core spinning is totally different from spinning a single because you're not actually putting a twist on the fiber the way you would in a normal single. Instead, you're relying on the structural integrity of your core, which is why it's really important for it to be strong. Um, and you're just sort of wrapping the fiber around horizontally. You can see I'm kind of wrapping it from the side, almost at a 90 degree angle. And you're I like to say you're kind of decorating yarn. So you're not really spinning this fiber, you're wrapping it around your core. What I like about core spinning is that as you go, you can kind of spend a little bit more time on one part before you leave it so that it looks exactly like you want. And you can kind of turn your fiber around to get, you know, I want to get this blue here, so I'm going to make sure that's on top and I might go over it again to get it exactly the way I want before I move on. So I really like to kind of compress it as I go and it makes kind of a firmer core spin yarn, but I like the way it looks. The reason that I'm core spinning over two different cores right now is so that when I want to, I can let one of those cores go and actually get behind what I'm twist, what I'm spinning and wrap around. And the, I call that auto wrapping. Basically what's happening is that that pretty sparkly core is now wrapping around the core spine and decorating it even further. And you can go back and forth in your yarn and sort of I can tuck this decorative thread back into the core and hide it again. So now I've got both of them underneath what I'm spinning. And then I can change my mind, let that one come back out. So here I'm core spinning and letting the decorative thread wrap around. And now I'm just gonna switch to spinning a single and let that brushed mohair core just candy cane around. So you get this really cool effect. 
And so you can switch back and forth and sort of design your yarn on the fly as you go. Switching back and forth from a single to a coarse spun. Now I'm gonna to switch to coarse spinning. And get you get different visual effects that way. So we're just about done here, just getting to the very end of the bat. And I would just encourage you to play around with core spinning, it's a lot of fun. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you all enjoy the country spinner too.